judgmental prayers. God has two sides. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 6 and verse 7. He said, I am the Lord that killeth and maketh alive. He said, bring it down to the grave and bring it up. So God kills. That's part of the moment people don't know about God. And God can make alive. Many know that God can make alive, but they don't know God kills. They only know one side of God that God can give life. They never know that God is also a killer God. He said it can bring down and it can also lift up. Verse 7. He said the Lord make it poor. So he can make somebody who is rich to be poor. And make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. Today we are looking at the other side of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your right hand and say, God, I'm your own son. If you're just, I'm your daughter. I want to see the killer part of you to be in my favor. Today, you are my father. You will not watch anyone molest my destiny. As I call upon you, ask me speedily. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 7 and verse 9, it says, Oh Lord, oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Today, every form of wickedness is coming to an end. My defense of God will sever the upright in heart. That's verse 10. And verse 11, the people are saying, God is angry with the wicked every day. Hey, <laughs> Maru, Whoever called himself wicked against salvation, against you and I, I decree today, the anger of God will strike them where they are. In the name of Jesus. And if he turned on, he went to Saul, he had bent his bow and make it ready. He had also prepared for him the instruments of death. In seven days, anyone after all shall die. In seven days, from today, whoever has vowed to kill us will die in the name of Jesus. He said, you ordain his arrows against the persecutors. Whoever has persecuted you and I, will go down before this month is over. In the name of Jesus. Yet this and where vengeance is our gateway to liberty. Wickedness is so high in the world. He said the whole world lieth in wickedness. The entire world. First John 5, 19. He said, I have respect on that covenant for the dark, of the, for the dark places. Of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. There's cruelty every part of the world. People today kill people without any, any, any remorse. Politicians can pay people to assassinate people as if it's just chicken. They kidnap people. Ritual killing has become the order of the day. Every part, people will just go shoot. No value for human life. But today, I decree all of them to be judged. In the name of Jesus. If God is angry with the wicked, and you say you are not angry with the wicked, are you holier than God? The almighty holiest God says I'm angry with the wicked. I decree, those who say whoever is against them should go down, they go down now. Yeah, the Satan is not a gentleman. He said he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So don't play with a man who wants to destroy you. But they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Tonight, even the blood will fight the devil. 
Say the blood of Jesus. It's against you, Satan. Wherever you have stationed your works against me, I come against you. Invoke the blood now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. You know what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11? It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. He said, because evil people, nothing is happening to them. So, you know why? You don't evoke any vengeance against them. He doesn't say, God, judge them. So they think that they can continue. He says, sent against them is not executed. What? Speedily. So they are just relaxed. They say, why didn't they are here? Have you not seen politicians beat their chest concerning evil they are doing? That is, I'll kill him. I can't. You look at human beings, I will kill the person. You're not afraid. Kill a human being? Today. Today, not tomorrow. Send it against the evil workers. I'll be speedily in the name of Jesus. <laughs> After Elisha took the mantle from Elijah, and the spirit of Elijah rested upon him. If you read the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, 23, 24, some children began to mock him. They looked at Elisha and said, look at this bald head man. Elijah said, you are mocking me? He called, he said, and he caused them in the name of the Lord. He didn't cause them. With God, he said, in the name of, if it's not from God, God wouldn't have answered. And he turned back and looked on them and caused them in the name of the Lord. Are you hearing me? And there came forth two she bears and what? Out of the wood. And there are 42 children of them. If God did not spare children who were causing a man of God, is this a witch doctor who God will spare? With the holy hunger, I'll stand for one minute and say, Whatever is causing my destiny, whatever is mocking my destiny, whatever is mocking my life, is ordained for a cause. And today, now in one minute, cause those things in the name of Jesus. Everything mocking my destiny is caused in the name of Jesus. Everything mocking my life. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. Psalm 94, 1 to 4, 22 to 23. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth. <laughs> oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. You know why God said to the proud? When wicked men are doing something, they even get more arrogant. They say, forget these church people. Forget these church people. What did they go do? Say, forget them. How long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Verse 4. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers make the boast what? Themselves. They make arrogant statements. Verse 22 and 23. But the Lord is my defense. And my God is not my refuge. He said, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. They shall Cut what and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall do what? Lift your right as O God of vengeance. You are my God. All the wicked men and women. Against salvation, Mrs. Call your own ministry if you're a pastor. Against my family. Against my destiny. Call them off. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In 2 Thessalonians 1.6, <laughs> it said, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So, is anyone troubling us, God will give them multiplied troubles. 
It is a righteous thing with God. To recompense tribulation. Tribulation means multiply trouble. When they say, I want to deal with you, God will give them so many things to handle. That they will not have space. From one problem to another. Everyone after us will never come out of their troubles. From one problem, they will enter another problem. Anyone under this covenant covering of today, home and abroad online, I decree whoever is after you will have multiplied troubles. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 54, 14 to 17. In righteousness shall that be established. That shall be far from oppression. So nobody will oppress me. For that shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together. So gather against us is not a problem. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather against thee shall fall for thy sake. Every negative guard against us, they are falling right now. Whether they are gathering in the demonic world, in the occultic world, in the political world, every guarding against you and I, today, they shall fall in the name of Jesus. Behold, I have created the smith that blew the coals in the fire. That bring it forth an instrument for his, for his work. And I've created the wisdom to what? Destroy. All such evil gardens, the angels of God will go and destroy them. <laughs> Listen, verse 17, you know it, but I'm going to bring something out of it. He said, No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. <laughs> now, that is where many people know. And every tongue that rises up against thee, these judgmental prayers, in judgment, thou, you shall condemn. Who should condemn? Not God. It is what you say, God will confirm. It's in judgment, thou shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the of me, says the Lord. So you and I are the ones to provoke the judgment of God. Is that clear, sir? So vengeance against the wicked has to be provoked by who? Say by me. Say by me. By who? Now, I'm setting you because I'm going to give you close to 20-something prayer points. If not up to 30. You will pray today. You know, that's the way you write an exam. You can be moving on the road. Is anybody who won't try me? Make it come. I, kidnappers will die after today. Anyone planning to pick you and I before they try it, they are dead. He said, who will condemn? He said, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. You know, some of us, we think that God is, oh, your God. No! He said, open your mouth wide. God is waiting for you to say something. There was a notorious kidnapper. Very notorious. This guy initiated young people. He initiated them to a point. It was a terror in the eastern part of Nigeria. People were afraid to travel in the east, especially between River State and Apia State. And one day shot a staff with me. The young man's car was with bullets. He escaped dead. I said, no, enough is enough. And I came up on a Thursday like this. It was the Thursday service. And I said, this is the last weekend that Sikanko will exist. I said, this weekend is the last. By this time tomorrow, Amber Friday was killed. If I never said it, God would have done it. Stop waiting for God. God said, every tongue that rises up against you will condemn. You are the one, not God. And Pharaoh, when he wanted to show his ugly head, Moses said, <laughs> Pharaoh, let me say this to you. You will be drowned in the Red Sea. Your firstborn will be killed if you don't let them go. Did God kill the firstborn? There was no Bible. So Moses was reciting the word of God. And now we are showing scriptures. So I will give you each scripture. You will recite it and throw the arrows. Are you hearing me? 
Get ready. Enough is enough. Enough is what? How many are angry? Say no weapon. Formed against me. Shall prosper. Spiritual weapons. Physical weapons. Demonic weapons. Any kind of weapon. Fighting against my life. And I'll prosper. Go ahead and throw arrows in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable. I have loved thee. God, how many know God loves them? Therefore, he said, I love you. If I can give you Jesus, then I show you love. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for their life. Egaba. He will clear the devil. Anyone after me, there shall be divine exchange. Amen. Those who want to kill me, you take my place. Amen. Everyone that wants me dead, you are going to die. Amen. He said, since that was precious in my sight, will I give men for thee and pay for their life? Oh my God. Are you ready for that? Anyone after any of us, you go down. Do you look at that scripture? Yes. Get up and pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone after my life? Today. Mighty name. Say with me, Father, anoint my tongue with a coal of fire. As I say it, that's how it will be. You said in your word, you give me a mouth and a wisdom which all my adversary cannot get say nor resist. In the name of Jesus, anoint my tongue. Everything I say will be so. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to go into prayers. Prayer number one. You will sentence to death any agent of the devil that wants to attack salvation ministries, David Bimi and family, and genuine worshippers in salvation ministries. Decree that our dread shall fall upon them at all times. You tell these two scriptures. Let death seize upon you. You quote scriptures all. Let them go down into hell. For wickedness is their what? Twelve. Fear and dread, Exodus 15 verse 16, shall fall upon them by the greatness of their harm. They shall be as still as stone till the people pass over. Till the people pass over. With their purchase. Say, till my time on earth is over. That is mean. Till the people pass over means till our time on earth is what? Every agent of the devil is sentenced to death. That wants to attack salvation Ministries, God, someone sharp and direct. Your tongue is anointed now. Sharp and what? Go ahead in one minute. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus.
Mighty name. I'll give you a second prayer point. Prayer number two. Some persons around you maybe has been held down by kidnappers. Have been held down with one demonic force or the other. You will not watch them to be in the hands of the assailants. In Isaiah 49, 24, 26, he says, shall the prey, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I'll contend with him that contended with thee and I'll save thy children. And I'll feed them and I'll press them with their own flesh. They shall be drunk with their own blood as with the sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You are going to pray for the supernatural release of those held captive who are genuinely connected to us. Anyone genuinely connected to us that has been held captive, either by kidnappers, by literal killers, or by anything evil. Are you hearing me now? You said today, he said, lose him and let him go. We command such persons free now. As long as the church prayed for Peter, he was freed. True? No matter where the person be held down, the person must be free now, not after. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus. My worst forever being held down is lose as free in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we'll take the third prayer point. In First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come out upon them. Psalm 64, 7 and 8. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall what? Flee away. You are going to pray. Angrily pray against kidnapping. Hate killers. Assassins. Ritual killers. Armed robbers. Name them. Decree their sudden destruction. Anyone that is targeting any of us. Sudden what? sudden destruction upon them. Are you hearing me now? They will not live to carry out those arms. You must pray with the holy anger. Even if they are in our midst in the church now, let the soldiers start from here. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Mighty name. Prayer point number four. In Psalm 35, 1 to 8, it says, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my soul. Everyone after us will be put to shame. <laughs> Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Devise my heart. As we are talking of confusion in the camp of our enemies. <laughs> let them be sent a child before the wind and let them just go, what? Chase them. We command them to face the bush now. <laughs> let their way be dark and what? Sleep. And let the angel of the Lord, what? Persecute them. With the clean persecution to be fought them in the name of Jesus. It's for without a cause. They have hid for me their net in the pit. 
which without a cause they have did for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares. And let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into that very destruction. Let it work. Whatever they planned against me, says, oh, will it happen exactly to them? Say one more time. What are they planning now against salvation, missus? Will happen to them. Whatever they imagine as evil against the Bibliomia, against all those connected to the Bibliomia, genuinely, including me, anyone who genuinely loves me and plan, plan evil against the person, today, whatever they are planning, it will happen to them exactly as they are planning it. In the name of Jesus. We command some persons to go blind. We command them to go mad. We command them to be struck with stroke. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 89. I found David, my servant, 20 to 23. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. He said, the enemy shall not stand upon him, not the soul wickedness will afflict him. That means afflict him, the soul wickedness will not trouble us. I'll beat down his foes before his face. Everyone that wants to trouble us will beat him down. Amen. And plague them that hate him. Amen. I hate that man, you're already under a plague. Amen. I hate that sister, you're under a plague. Amen. Anyone that hates us who are children of God, genuinely, we decree they be plagued now. Amen. And verse 40. Thou has broken down all his edges and has brought his strongholds to you. You pray that all their connections should be broken down. Every connection they have be broken down. All their gang up. If the gang up with judiciary, that judiciary will be what? Broken down. If the gang up with uniform men, the uniform men will be broken down. And no matter the connection they have, it will be broken down. Now, go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Number five. In Proverbs eleven nineteen, the B path. So he that pursueth evil, pursueth it to his own dead. Did you hear that? He that pursueth what? Pursueth it to what? He said, do hand join a hand. The wicked shall not go upon. You ask God to hasten their dead. To hasten what? Hasten their dead. Hasten their dead. God, hasten their dead. Quick, quick, quick what? Lord, hasten their dead. All the evil men, kidnappers, ritual killers, hasten their dead. Let not, they must not see the end of the next seven days. All those after our lives tormented seven days from now, maximum they go down. His, that which doctor doing incantation against you seven days. Go ahead with the holy anger in the name of Jesus. Mind name. 
when they see kidnappers, ritual killers, evil men, people are behind them. People sponsor them. Hope you know. People buy human parts. There are people buy what? For ritual. Now, you are going to take the sixth prayer point. In Revelation 18, 17, for in one hour, so great riches is come to north. A very wealthy man in this country went after me. He was mad. His word made him to be so arrogant. And God told me, this man is after you. And I said, it's well dry in one hour. Today, that man is one of the poorest. I say, it's well dry up. That thing making him to think is who is who. Every investment he had crashed. One day God told me, say, have now release him, otherwise he will die. I heard God say to me, release him now. I just went in and said, you are released. That's how the man survived. He said, if not this week, he will not see this week. He said, the sentence you pass on him has not been revoked. Now listen. He said, look at verse 18. Chapter 18, verse 17. For in one hour, so great riches come to north. And what? Wow. It's the Bible. He said, one hour, all is well, will be crash. And look, you know the problem with the church? We don't enforce the word of God. We go, now, get angry and say, one hour, I don't care who is sponsoring that evil man. And what, what you say, go confirm. <laughs> now, hear what he says to tell you how powerful it is. Isaiah 44, 26, 27. We know this, he said, that confirming the word of his servants and confirming the counsel of men. We think that that is for, for, for men of God. It's for every child of God. Who confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his what? <laughs> now look at verse 27. That say it to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up the river. He said, you say to it, then God will do it. You say, look at this prayer. Pray that wealth of those sponsoring them, all these kidnappers, witch killers, every evil man, dries up immediately and they become poor. Because everyone sponsoring ritual killers, armed robbers, suicide bombers, evil men, use Nigeria as a point of contact. Those sponsoring, those people killing people up and down, we command their wealth dry up in one hour. You see men you thought had money become poor before this time next month. God will struck them with cancer that cannot be cured. He will struck their family members with cancer that cannot be cured. He will struck them with the terminal disease in the name of Jesus. We command their wealth to do what? Die. Anyone who wants to fight the trust of the fight them to be human, fight any of us. We command you. Look, look. Are you angry at all? Are you angry? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. Anyone sponsoring evil men against us, that word dries up now. In the name of all the investment we crash. In the name of Jesus. In Job 20, 27, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and air shall rise against him. You ask God to reveal them to the world and they be destroyed. Every sin they have committed since they were born, everything they have done as evil will be revealed. Be what? 
all these evil men, those who are sponsoring them, they, everything they have done be, that, since they were born, be revealed to the world. Are you getting me now? There is no hiding place for them. Even when they're responsible to kill people, the people who, who, who they send, we say, this man was always sponsored them to kill. Help us reveal their iniquity. Tell, let the world hear the bad things they have done. No matter how they try to hide it, it will not work. Are you hearing me now? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name. Now hear this. A particular man in government vowed to fight this church with everything within his powers. He said, he said he's going to deal with this church. They held a cabinet meeting for two days concerning this church and me. I was the major point of discussion in their cabinet meeting. So some members came to me and said, sir, <laughs> for our executive council meeting, you are the point of discussion. And the man was very angry. And they were talking with fear. You can see fear on their face. Shut up! It can't do me nothing. I use this scripture. Turn with me to Isaiah 19. 2, 3, 14. The two, you write two A, so you don't, when you go home, you don't read all. You write, so two, three A, and 14 A. I'll set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst of You know, they are binded by demonic forces. He said, that spirit worth. Osikanku, the spirit that he was carrying failed. That's why one bullet killed him. The man who killed him came to church and showed me. The military man who shot the bullet and killed him. He said, you know what? After you prayed for me, I went. I heard the prayer, so I went. And I shot him dead. All the charms did not work. The spirit binding him failed. He said, verse 14, the Lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. So whatever they are using to tie themselves, we just fail. We just what? You know, can I tell you the testimony? When the man said he was going to fight us, a called group rose up and was shooting in Port Harcourt. And they were heading towards where the man was staying. So he left us alone. They were shooting heavily and was going towards where the man was staying. So he was not escaping. Then the Egyptians shall fight what? So if cult A is planned against you, cult B will stand up to fight them. He said, everyone against the Egyptians, fight yourselves. Then you just be on your own. And in case there's anything binding them, it will fail. All the charms won't work. I went to a village in the Quarry Land River State called Egbeda. This boy, bullet does not enter him. So even the military, they were afraid of him. And as I was preaching, it was you know, you can see somebody very arrogant. It was, you told me, I was doing his face. They would use towel to clean his face. He would, he would do like this. They would use towel. And I, I put at him, I said, listen, this is the last day you do this nonsense here. You're like a dead man. You see the demon and arrogance in his face. One month after I prayed, less than one month, he was going and one bullet, the same army that does not kill him, one bullet, cap, they brought him down. Because the spirit has failed. Are you hearing me now? Yes, you are going to pray. They must fight yes, themselves. All evil men, all those guarding against you politically will fight themselves. Yes, Guard against you socially will fight themselves. 
Guard against the business will fight themselves. Guard against your family will fight themselves. Guard against the church will fight themselves. Are you ready? With the holy anger, go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. We are going to pray, number nine. 2 Samuel 22, verse 38. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them, and turned not again until I had consumed them. Ask God to pursue and destroy all of them. None of them will escape. I have pursued what? My enemies. And destroyed them, and turned not again until I had what? All my enemies, not one will escape today. God, I ask that you pursue and destroy all of them. All, not some, not that one will remain. All must be destroyed. Are you ready? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Look at verse 39 of that same scripture. It said, and I have consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise. Yea, they are falling under my feet. Pray that they should be consumed without rising up again. They will never rise again. Never again. Not that you, you hear that they came around you. No, no, no. It will never rise again. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, for this part A, it's three parts. For this part one, finally, for this one. You are going to look at your nation, whichever nation you are. Look at that state you are, any nation you are watching from in any part of the world. You are going to, this is a prophetic declaration. Prophetic what? In Ezekiel chapter 11, 2.4.13a. Now listen, when Gaddafi says the king of kings, Gaddafi called himself king of kings, and the man of God stood up with the poor precisely my mentor. Said, Gaddafi, you are king of kings? And pointed his finger. And this is the last day you exist. Gaddafi was killed like a rat. And military president of Nigeria stood up and made himself a semi-god. He died inside the palace. They pointed their finger with the scripture, and pointed towards that direction, and the man died. You are going to be, don't get that whoever wants to destroy the nation you belong to, no matter the nation where you are watching from, if anybody wants to destroy it, you point your finger, you say you will not live to carry it out. Are you hearing me now? Yes, Verse 2. Then said he unto me, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city. They give wicked what? 
You will decree it. If there be any judge that will turn the truth to lie, you point your finger. You say the church will stand to say any judge that will turn truth to lie, die. Let somebody take your place. Anyone that will come down to cause confusion in Nigeria, go off. Cause confusion in Ghana, go off. Cause confusion in Gambia, go off. Cause confusion in America, go off. You know the nation where you are. Which say, it is not near. Let us build houses. This city is the cardinal, and we be the flesh. Therefore, fast forward, prophesy against them. Prophesy also no man. So God said, you just prophesy. And it came to pass, when I prophesied, that Belial, the son of Benia, died. So God is waiting for your prophecy. God is waiting for who? You say, any wicked man in my family, if you have a wicked man in your family, call him by name. This wicked man in my family, I prophesy. This is the last day you exist to torment my family. This wizard in this compound that torment everybody, this is the last day you exist. I prophesy. You're dead in seven days. And what? Seven days. You will be the one to say it and God will confirm it. Anyone that will turn judgment because you are in place to turn the truth to lie, will prophesy, go off. In any nation of the earth, the church has such powers. It says, son of man, prophesy. Are you ready to prophesy? Yes, you are ready to prophesy? Yes, Go ahead in the name of Jesus. the name of Jesus. Now hear this. I learned that some people are kidnapping people around the Eliozo and, and they were. I stand as a man of God over this territory and beyond. I decree the death of whoever is responsible. They are sponsors. They are killers. By this time tomorrow, I decree all of you dead. hearing my voice. You're hearing what I'm saying. Anyone that, any witch doctor who takes that body you're picking, I command that we don't do it in 24 hours. Dead in the name of Jesus. Every evil man, whether East West Road, whether in the Eliosu, any part of the country, responsible for ritual killing, I decree in 24 hours be dead in the name of Jesus. of God, persecute them tonight. Kill them in their sleep. Destroy them in the name of Jesus. You will not live to carry out your ass. And so, you will hear news by this time tomorrow. You will hear news by this time tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. How many believe it is done? For this first session, give God thanks. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Thank you for answering us. In the name of Jesus, you may be seated. We are going to part two. Blood warfare. What did I say? When I say blood, it's the blood of Jesus. Blood warfare. We are going to take heavy eight prayer points. And then you'll be true. We thought one would be about five minutes. Are you blessed today? Yes, 
You can move on. You don't have to be moving with fear like this. That's your end. Not that you move, it's what you fear like this. Somebody what is coming to kidnap you. You are sleeping the night, you are locking everywhere like you're prison. No, people should not live like that. Arm robbers cannot be tormenting us. It, is, it has ended today. Yeah. You can't be sleeping with fear. No, no, the arm robbers should be afraid. We should not live with fear. They should be the ones to be afraid. It was end today. That arm robber has not been born that would dare your house. Say amen to that. Blood warfare. Blood what? Warfare. Number one. The major person behind every evil is Satan. Is who? Satan. You will clear Satan out of where you are. In Revelation chapter 12, this one is the blood of Jesus you're using. There was war in heaven. Michael and Jeff the dragon to come fast seven. And prevail not. That was any place for any more in heaven. And that old serpent, we discovered the whole world, verse 10 and verse 11. So I had a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and the strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them day and what? We are killed before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of their testimony. You are going to cast the devil. Say, Satan, anywhere I, am, I appear, you, I cast you out. Any that's who salvation means to cast you. This one. You are, you see, the blood of Jesus is against you. Anywhere that anything has to do with salvation ministries, has to do with our lives, genuine members, followers, worshippers, anywhere. Satan, we come against you with the blood of Jesus. We clear you from anything that has to do with So even if they are robbing anywhere, when they come to your house, they'll jump. Are you getting there now? You don't pray such prayers laughing, no. Satan is not a gentleman. Say, I come against you, Satan. With the blood, they cast you out of heaven. Have the mental picture of how he was thrown out of heaven. You are not permitted to operate around my territory, around my life. I cast you out. He said, There was no place found anymore. So you will not find any place again in my life. Are you hearing me now? Get up with the holy anger. Take the blood of Jesus. It shall go for us the lightning. You use the blood. Go ahead and throw the blood in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name. In Colossians 2 14, it's a blood and hard and hard and what that was against always crying to us, it took it out of the way, lending them to the cross. Now, the King James, you may not understand it. I want to read the Amplified. Amplified of that scripture. Amplified. Having cancelled out the certificate of death consisting of legal demands which were enforced against us. And you are hosted to us. And this certificate he has set aside and completely removed by nail to the cross. Now this is how we pray. The other scripture said every decree, every word. In Revelation to the one verse four, you combine the two scriptures. Revelation to the one four. No, to the one four. Put King James. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. That's what I'm talking No more what? No matter you decree that any sentence of death passed on you be cancelled. Listen, let me explain to you. Nobody dies physically except the person is, is killed spiritually. He said, if there be any sentence of death passed on me, or anyone genuinely connected to me, I cancel that sentence of death by the blood of Jesus. That means it will not manifest physically. Every sentence of death passed on any one of us genuinely connected to this commission. Generally connected to me, including me. I cancel that sentence of death by the blood of Jesus. You are not using the blood of Jesus. Any evil, say there shall be no more sorrow, nor cry. In case there be any sentence of sorrow, you can put it. Anything that will make me to go in pains, I cancel them with the blood of Jesus. Are you going to answer now? Go ahead, name of Jesus.
Jesus' mighty name. Whatever is that sentence of sorrow and death is cancelled. Every evil sentence against you and I, they are cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So they will not stand. In the name of Jesus. In 2 Samuel chapter 22, 14 and 15, the Lord thundered from heaven and the Most High uttered his voice. And he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them. And in Zechariah 9, 11, 12, 14 to 16, he said, as for thee, by the blood of the covenant, <clears throat> I have sent for the prisoners out of the people that's over there. He said, turn you to the strong, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare, I will render what? Double unto you. 14 to 16. And the Lord shall be seen over them. And the sun shall go for as a lightning. And the Lord shall be blown the trumpet. And shall go like a wild wind of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them. They shall devour and subdue with sling stones. And shall drink and make a noise as true wine. And they shall be filled with the bows like the corners of the horns. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as a flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of the crown, lifted off and assigned upon the land. You are going to decree that the thunder and arrow of God scattered every evil to pieces. Every evil to what? Every I shall go for as a lightning. Scatter every evil to what? Pieces. It will go for as a thunder, lightning. Every evil, no matter where it is, go and scatter it. Blood of Jesus! Wherever, even things you don't know about, to go and scatter it. It's a tiny piece like a potter vessel. Every evil, wherever it is hidden, go and scatter it in pieces with the blood of Jesus. You have that eye of imagination with faith. I said, blood of Jesus, go forth. Anywhere evil is regimented against me, scatter it to pieces. Are you ready to pray? Go ahead in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In 1 Samuel chapter 7, 9 to 10, and Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord of Israel, and the Lord heard him. Now Samuel was offering, verse 10, up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew nigh to battle against Israel. But the Lord turned out with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. He was picking up a lamp, and Jesus, our Passover lamp, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, by the blood of Jesus, anywhere they have gathered to come against me, Lord, their blood today is, they say all of them were dead. Were what? Dead. Anywhere they have gathered to Send forces against salvation ministries. The blood of Jesus go forth there. And the Philistines, he said, they were smitten before Israel. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't shoot any arrow. All Samuel did was to carry a lamp in the Old Testament and we're in the better covenant. The blood of Jesus, we don't need to throw arrows. You will hear news after now. Amen. You will hear news after now. Amen. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead.
in Jesus mighty name number five Jeremiah 30 verse 23 behold the wild wind of the Lord go forth with fury with what a continuing wild wind it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked decree that the fury of the Lord shall fall on the head of the wicked the fury of the Lord shall fall upon the what to follow up. It's a continue. That means it will not stop. Oh. It will not what? It will not stop. Lord, let your anger fall on the wicked. Non-stop with the blood of Jesus. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Number six. In Ezekiel 35, verse six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee with blood, unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You are going to decree that the blood of Jesus destroyed those who have shared the blood of others. All these ritual killers killing people and robbers, God, the blood pursued them till they die. Yeah. Since they say they want to kill other people, let them, even the politicians who are killing people, let them die. Yeah. Let dead enter their houses. Yeah. So they don't have respect for life. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone who likes to kill people, let blood pursue and destroy. Yeah. Since anyone, like, anyone likes to shed what? Blood. Blood of Jesus going to their houses let their persons die are you ready with the only hunger to go ahead in the name of Jesus In Jesus' mighty name. In Exodus chapter 12, 12 and 13, when Israel was to leave Egypt, something happened. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Now smith all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. Take note. Against what? Most times we think of all the human beings. Against the gods, the forces backing them. Are you getting what I'm saying? All these terrorists you are seeing, there are gods behind them. He said, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. What he says to one, he says to all. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. That means whatever evil happened to the world will be exempted. Yeah. When I smit the land of Egypt. Are you ready? He said, blood of Jesus Christ become a blood of judgment. Blood of what? This night, today, every
everyone that has planned evil. God moved in the same manner to judge the wicked. The way you judge the Egyptian, judge the wicked in the same manner. In Nigeria, in Ghana, in Cameroon, in Burkina Faso, in America, everywhere we are found, you, your children, judge the wicked that same way. Are you ready? Are you ready? In Switzerland, anywhere the wicked is, where we, the children of God, are found, today, judge them now. This night will not pass. This shall be to us a night of what? Judgment. You call it this night a night of judgment. Lord, this is the night of judgment. Today must, anything you say to God, God will ask out. Lord, this night must be a night of what? Judgment. I'm sentenced according to the way you want it to happen. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. He said, because I bear upon me, Galatians 6, 7, the mark of the Lord, let no man to Lift right hand and say, because I bear upon me, the blood of Jesus. No force troubles me. From today, I am touched not to all evils, wherever those who are genuinely connected to salvation ministries, and to me, and to me who, love me, who love me, these prayers, these prayers covers them. Covers All we have decreed covers them, covers them in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Now you are going to plead the blood over your life and other concerns. You plead the blood. You see with the eye of imagination. You said the blood of Jesus will be seen over all properties of salvation ministries. The blood will be seen over all that concerns salvation ministries. Our cars, our houses, our children, our, those who are in school, those who go to school, everything that has to do with salvation ministries and your life and the body of Christ, wherever you are, you are a member of any church, plead the blood over your life. Are you understand? Plead the blood over your children, plead the blood over you as a person. The blood of Jesus cover us. You plead the blood, cover everyone. Are you ready? Go ahead, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Now, the prophetic with David Ibiomi. Go in peace. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. All our children, home and abroad, are preserved. Amen. Everyone who our joys, their joy, they are preserved. Amen. Our properties are preserved. Amen. If we are going back tonight, no evil shall befall you. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 